Hello and welcome to Secret Sounds. Coming to you live at the Hub Festival in Cardiff. from our first day at Womanby Street. With live interviews and live performances from Steve Winch and the people, the poet. But first, whilst the festival celebrated its opening last night, up and coming dirty blues band The Dirt were playing at one of the festival's venues, Clubby Baba. And here are some of the highlights from their debut set. Here at the festival there are nine stages hosting over 150 acts over the weekend. Secret Sound was lucky enough to be asked to introduce a few acts of our own. Earlier today Ellen spoke to Steve Winch, one of our first acts. Hello, I'm here in uh, Cardiff View Park with Steve Winch. Uh, Steve, thank Hi. you for taking the time to be with us. Um, how are you doing? I'm good, thanks. How good, you? I'm very well, thank you. Um, so this is your first time performing in Cardiff. Um, Possibly my first time in Cardiff full stop. Maybe. All oh, right. <laughs> okay. Um, I understand that you um, that you helped raise money for the flood relief benefit in Aberystwyth. Can you tell us a little about that? Yeah. Last year, June time, uh, Leanne got in touch and uh, said there was an opportunity to help out, and I thought well, let's rise to the occasion and do it. So it was a, a good event. It was a good event. Oh, that's Hopefully great. Helped a few people out in the process. Yeah, did you raise a lot of money? or? I have no idea what the, f the final funds raised were. No idea. I came, I played, I left. That's <laughs> great. So let's talk about your performing then. Um, when did that first start, your performing career? A long time ago. I've been playing as, as long as I can remember and, and performing from a teenager, pre-teenager really, in bands locally back at home and then onwards from there. Yeah, it's never stopped. Oh, that's great. Um, I understand that you have a lot of uh, American folk artists that influence you, like uh, Dylan. Yeah, um, uh, what, what, is, what is it about these artists that um, influence you? It's the imagery and the songwriting. I'm not the kind of guy who likes a song that's just, I love you, and kind yeah. of la la la, etc. You know, I like to have a story in the song. I like the lyrics to have a lot of imagery. Um, Dylan one of the best lyricists there ever was, Springsteen, etc. And then on 
kind of home soil, Billy Bragg as well, stuff like that. Love it all. Well, that's great. And um, you also have a new album out, uh, Somewhere South of Heaven. I do, yeah. That came out in uh, June with a uh, launch date at the Stables Theatre in Milton Keynes, which was really, really good. And uh, it's, it's going really, really well. I just only today had a report back that it's proven to be extremely popular in Australia. That's great. That's fantastic. Yes. Yeah, so what, what is the most personal song in that album to you? Well, every song is personal because all the songs are your babies, I think, to be honest. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean that they might all be about me, per se. But, you know, it's, uh, uh, everything's personal. Music's very personal. And uh, it's up to the listener, I think, to read into them what they will. Yeah, yeah. How many have you had many albums out in the past or this is the second solo album. There's been a few things with bands in years gone by, but yeah, this is the second solo album. And on this one I decided to to bring a band in and uh, play some more instruments myself on it and give it a sort of a bigger sonic palette, so to speak. That's great. And uh, would you prefer to perform solo or in a band or th I bet they put two completely different experiences. It's chalk and cheese really. Uh Solo's cool because you're obviously very independent and it's an easy outfit to take out. Uh, with a band, you've got the camaraderie, etc., and you can obviously have a lot of fun. Um, I like anything. And your son Danny is also a musician. Yeah, yeah. It seems the case is like father, like son. He's really, really good. He's on the album, uh, writes his own stuff as well. Should have a good future. What was it like working with him? It's it's, it's brilliant you kind of forget the father-son relationship and it's musician to musician and uh, he rose to the challenge perfectly that's great and are you looking forward to perform in the hub festival very much so yeah first time performing in cardiff it would be it would be great well thank you very much steve for your time and good luck thank you. okay that was steve winch and here he is performing somewhere south of heaven hello She sat down, turned on the TV and said the revolution has begun Why don't you wear your Sunday best? She said you sell cravat and iron lung Then like a fairground prophet she prophesies there's nothing left to say when your new religion's apathy, you quickly learn to look the other way. Oh, holy rain is falling, it's gonna wash the sins off of our hands. I can hear the masses calling, but there are some things they'll never understand. The Holy Ghost is hiding from the maniacal Father and the Son. Somewhere south of heaven, I think you'll find the rise have begun. The jaded priest is crying because his faith has withered like a flower. Love is our last chance for redemption But buddy, you can buy that by the hour The Virgin Mary smiles just like the Mona Lisa Oh, so knowingly Around these parts, mister, she knows she is a rare commodity they're lining up the poets, arming them and sending them to war. In pursuit of liquid gold reserves, at least that's what I think the fight is for. History will judge us and Father Time looks on with grave disdain. When you're bereft of all morality, you cannot buy exemption from the shame. There'll be bloodshed on the streets tonight, be sure to hang some garlic by your door. 
And cover up your ears lest you hear the plaintive cries of police some more Perhaps the best solution is to end it all and flee this mortal curse Oh global suicide pact, tell I'm up for that Buddy you go first we're somewhere south of heaven We're somewhere south of heaven We're somewhere south of heaven Thank you. This is Ellen there with Steve Winch. I am now joined by Jack, who's curating the four clubs. Thank you for joining me. It's all right. So how are you finding the Hub Festival? I think it's really cool. I mean, Cardiff is really buzzing at the moment. The music scene's really coming alive. There's a lot of really good acts about. I think Cardiff's on the um, up and up, you know? I know a lot of people from Bristol, and Bristol's got a lot of respect as a music city, and I feel like Cardiff's really coming up, and the music scene's very strong. Yeah, so you think we, we're getting good competition for Bristol now then? Well, you know, it's not a competition. It's, it's all about supporting each other as artists and supporting each other across cities. But Cardiff's a wonderful city. We've got some great venues. And what they're trying to do here at the Hub Festival is really good. I've spoken to Owen, who's, uh, who's put this all together, Owen Bowley. Um, and he wants more of a kind of, a, you know, more collaboration between the different venues. Um, and I think that's absolutely fantastic. I mean, why not? We need to be working together, making sure all these wonderful acts are being represented and getting gigs and the live music seems strong. Is there any acts that you particularly like at the moment? Um, uh, I, I saw Maddie Jones, at, uh, she won the Battle of the Bands that was at the Full Moon recently. Um, she was very, very good. Um, kind of very hard to describe. She's a singer-songwriter, but it's um, quite funky, quite jazzy, lots of different influences. Um, she's very good. She's on tomorrow, on the Sunday, so I'm looking forward to her. Any bands you're looking forward to now that's coming up in the festival? Um, yeah, well, like I said, Maddie, and uh, tonight we've got um, Alone, who is Cardiff-based. He works with a lot of, he has, he's got a big iPad setup and works through iPads with guitar. It's like post-rock dance music, so that's very, very unique. So it's kind of post-rocky, but really dancey at the same time, so I'm quite excited for that as well. Oh, nice. Sounds good. That's one to catch out then. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So you said you're a cur curator for the four clubs year. Can you tell us a bit more about, about your role year then in the festival? Yeah, well, basically, I was um, I was working, I was living up in Sheffield. I got very depressed <laughs> and ended up moving back um, to Cardiff. Um, and I've always been involved with like putting on gigs. I used to run comedy clubs, um, and I've, I've just uh, I've started running different gigs in Cardiff. I've got bandioki at Porters, which is a live karaoke with a band. So it's a really really tight band that I compare and do backing vocals on. Um, and we do everything from like Limp Biscuit to Dr. Dre to Stevie Wonder. There's so many different musical genres covered. So I'm doing that. I'm doing a variety night at Goody Who, which is like a really interesting, um, very eclectic kind of night full with comedians, weird sketch stuff, music, very interesting mix. Um, I just think Cardiff's a really exciting place to be at the moment. I'm just glad to be a part of it, really. Oh, thank you very much, Jack. No thank problem. you for joining us. Earlier this evening, over at the Full Moon, the second of our acts, The People the Poet, were performing. Andrew was lucky enough to catch up with them after their show. And here is what happened. I'm here at the Full Moon with local band, The People the Poet. Welcome to the show. Uh, would you guys like to introduce yourselves? Uh, yeah, I'm Tyler, I play guitar. I sing and I'm Leon. I'm Pete and I play bass. I'm Lewis, I play drums. Excellent, nice to meet you. Uh, you. What are your guys' first impressions of Hub Festival? Uh, very good actually, yeah, we turned up, very very busy, I was going to say busy, and uh, yeah, when we played everyone seemed to be actually watching us, which is it's good. Which it's is always good for a show really, isn't it? The smell of food and the smell of curry there, that was, uh, yeah, that was putting you off. Got the lyrics just the curry smell, that, you know? uh, it, it, it puts anyone off really, doesn't it? Yeah. But, uh, no, your, your set was really good, and uh, yeah, it was so... Um, it's been, you recently departed with your previous name, Tiger Please. How was that for you guys, departing from the name, and how was that for you? Well, we kind of got used to it now, but it, was, it took a while for people to ex accept it, because uh, people get attached to names and stuff, don't they? Yeah, uh, silly thing, really. <laughs> Still got comments to this day that they prefer the others, the other name. Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, well that's that, to be honest. So, uh... Oh, I, th I think I read on the internet about your uh, how you got the name The People with the Poet. Do you want to explain that a bit more? Leon, you can have this one. Yeah, I'll, I'll um, basically, uh, we 
started writing our debut album about three years ago. We still haven't released it yet, but it's due out in October. Um, and basically, we had fans and friends to send in stories about their life, um, and basically wrote an album based on those stories. Uh, so, about a year ago, we decided that Tiger Please weren't really the name which we wanted, you know, to be the brand, I suppose, for something very mature. So, we thought the People of the Poet was more of a touching tribute to the people who trusted us for their stories. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I mean, so um, back in May, you were selected as the BBC Wales Artist of the Week. Uh, how did they pick you up? I think we basically just sent them the song, didn't we? Yeah, did we? yeah. So I think really we've uploaded a few songs yeah. to the BBC introducing, but um, I suppose we've always been in touch with some of the guys from B BBC, and when they knew we were almost ready to release the album, you know, they were just wanted to hear the songs. I don't know, I think that's Sorry. Yeah. 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 Uh, what effect did that have on you as a band? I think a few people like this, a few extra likes on Facebook, <laughs> maybe t a couple more follows on Twitter. Yeah. But no, it was really good because we did like a, an acoustic session for daytime radio as well, which is a bit of an experience for us. And uh, got some free catering food there as well. Yeah, so Derek the Weatherman as Derek well? Derek the Weatherman came in. I actually, stay yeah, did, yeah. yeah. Actually, Starstruck. We yes. were Starstruck. Doesn't get better than that, really, does it? Meeting, meeting the weatherman, no. News presenters there, and you're just like, yeah, I'm going to see you at six o'clock on TV. <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty mad, but yeah. So um, you were busy. It was you were busy in May. You were released your EP. Uh, um, how was that? Recording it and working with it. And it's basically just a summary of what we've been up to the last couple of years. We had a couple of songs that have made the album, uh, a song on an acoustic song on a previous EP, and a couple of B sides. We just thought it'd be a, a nice package because we knew kind of a message to say we're not dead, we're yeah. still alive. Yeah. Pretty much. Don't give up on us. Just a name change. Yeah. What's that? Just a name change, really. Yeah. Um, we knew the album was going to be out, out still a couple of months down the road, so we thought. Can't keep them waiting that long, so gave them a they, they, were, they were originally going to be on the album anyway, the, the, the songs are on it. So, so. Cool, cool. And uh, how's the album going? You've got that released yet? Or? Uh, aiming, it's in a Kickstarter project for it, and we've reached our goal, so thank you, anyone who's uh, uh, donated to that. And we're aiming yeah, for it to be released in October. We're getting all the artwork done, getting the mastering done, so it's all slotting into place nicely at the moment. Excited. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. definitely. Uh, so, what bands influence you guys, you know, personally? Sure, and music. Yeah, couple, we all listen to like slightly different music, which kind of makes what our sound is. I like some like old school stuff, like the Eagles and uh, Pink Floyd and stuff. And then Leon, you like a bit of everything, like my boy bands, you know, Ronan take that, Ronan Keaton. Keaton, yeah. Classics. What about you guys? Peter Andre. Bit Peter Andre. Do a cover of that one day. Classic. Bit of mysterious girl. Obviously, yeah. I, I hear your pet playing that later, aren't you? Yeah. 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 No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think it was any. It was slightly close. Like. Yeah, it was something like that. Yeah. We got the lyrics in the car, so yeah. we finally. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. So, uh, Tyler, I hear your dad is guitarist of Motorhead. Oh, yes, yes. What, what effect did that have on you, musically? I don't, I don't really you knew this was coming. I listened to Metallica when I was young, I suppose, when everyone was listening to the Spice Girls. Uh, so. A good alternative, I feel. A good alternative. Yeah. yeah. Kind of set me on the right path. Oh yeah. I mean, like, I mean, I, Metallica, Spice Girls, you know, slightly different. Uh, That's no argument, really. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, um, what can we look forward to in the future from you guys? The well, album's out. Yeah, the album will be out. We'll be touring, hopefully, and then. Hopefully do a couple of festivals next year. And it's back to give it a good go. Will we see you guys at Hub Festival next year? Uh, probably, yeah. It'll definitely be one, yeah. Something to do on the weekend, isn't it? Oh, definitely, definitely. I'm not I'm noticing nods all around, so that's that's pretty good. Better than I can't believe we're yeah. the last 
basically like a whole interview with our little black thing pointed at us. I know. It's, it's it, like a little penis. It's good. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> <That's laughs> like, wave, waving this in. Waving it in my face. Yeah. I've just done a full interview without that. Like that. With a penis. <laughs> yeah, that's that in your face. You wouldn't have that. Thanks very much, guys. Your set You're was right, excellent. Yeah, I yeah. oh, will wrap it up there. Yeah. Give you life just to take you away. So go and get the schools for hell they away. You won't be the best in child. You won't be no son of God. I will be no third first, but I will be the one.